And this lens is so dirty. Yo guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to yet another video. Uh, in the garage behind me is the Super Duke GT. Gonna get it out and uh, let's stock soap. Cleaning the bike. Let's stock soap, like really, soap. If you watch my previous videos, you know that I have to take the panniers off, fold in the mirrors before I can get it outside in my own house. And this is 15 year old pilot glasses, that sucks. That's probably not even half my cleaning products. And there we are. So that is my third Carker K7 in like five years. Those things just keep breaking. This is like a digital screen and it didn't take very long. It was about two months or something. And the digital screen was already broke because uh, I'm, I'm way too lazy to get it back to the shop just for a stupid digital screen. So uh, yeah, screw it. Anyway, probably gonna get destroyed anyway in the next two years. Uh, and and this is like you probably know you know, go through your uh, through either your little shed or your big shed or big garage, and you find some products like old cleaning products. I'm pretty sure this is like some liquid wax used for my car. This thing might even be 10 years old. I'm not really sure. So after a couple of years, you get so many products, and you just have no idea what still works, what is good, or what's bad. So I used, I've used uh, so many shampoos, I, I, I still have no idea what's actually the best one. And we all do want the best for our motorcycles, don't you? I do. So a couple years ago, I, I think when uh, Fast and the Furious came out, everybody in tuning car tuning shows was like, Meguiar's, 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 Meguiar's. Everybody was using it. And I was looking at it and I was like, Damn, god dang, that stuff is really expensive. Uh, disclaimer, I'm not getting sponsored by any of these, so... Uh, so, Maguire... Okay, that was nasty. So, Maguire's very expensive, and one of the shampoos I got was like leaving stains and things like that. If you try to wash it with a car that was a little bit hot like today, there's a little bit of sun, it would make these weird stains and things like that. So, uh, Maguire's, nope, not using that anymore. Uh, anyway, so I got some uh, different products I'm using at the moment. Some uh, is already getting tested as soon as possible. But let's start off with this, Robin. Uh, we are not gonna use this because this is actually a uh, cleaner for your clothes. So uh, yeah, not, not gonna use that. And I'm probably, god dang it. And I'm probably not gonna use this because this is car perfume and I don't need, don't need any car perfume today. So uh, yeah, we got a couple of, uh, this is also a wax spray. Uh, used to spray this on my bicycles or dirt bike before I left it and it's like this weird milky substance muck off and I'm not sure I'm not sure but anyway if you ask your one of your buddies like tell me what's the best shampoo and yeah buddies or companies everybody has the best it's like everybody has the best shampoo but I have never used the muck off shampoo so I'm not really sure about that but this is wax, so yeah, that can also go away. Jackpot. Now this from Cartec is Iron Wash. 
and I gotta say it says a lot of dangerous things on it but they say it is not dangerous for your paint or engine or whatever but if you spray this on your uh, discs or brakes or whatever it's gonna when it comes into contact when it comes into contact with metal like uh, rusts and things like that it's a KTM it never rusts but anyway so if you if it comes into contact with little metal parts uh, dust brake dust whatever it will turn uh, it will turn purple and it's like I gotta say this stuff is like really really good you spray it on it stinks it stinks and if you stay in this smell for a couple of minutes you, you might die I'm not really sure about that but it really stinks if I get some parts it will turn it will most likely turn purple look look starting already so everywhere there are little metal parts it will start to get purple and this stuff really works really good really 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 good look at that just gonna and I clean this off, not really sure what it does if I leave it on for a couple of couple of minutes. So I'm just gonna clean it up. So as for wheels, wheels and brakes and things like that, I'm using this one. Cartec Iron Wash. Stinky, smelly, kinda expensive, but I must say, really worth the money for the wheels. But you can also use it somewhere else on your bike, but I wouldn't recommend that. I would use a soft shampoo. And next up we have the Unpass Modo Red Effect Netoyant Jaunt Cleaner thingy. And fun fact, the stuff inside of this is actually 100% and I'm pretty sure of that 100% same as the Iron Wash. Because if you spray it on something, it looks the same, it smells the same, it's probably some bigger company that's just, yeah, they just take that stuff and put it in their own bottles. Like you can do with that uh, cheap ass Red Bull. So it's, that's just the same. Cartec Iron Wash or uh, Unpass, no idea what that is, Red Effect, it's the same. And in Belgium, most likely Europe, you've got Drift. This is a degreaser that is mostly used for doing your dishes inside the house. But I gotta say, degreasing and washing your bike, this stuff works perfectly fine. And it's not that expensive. And I also found this uh, a couple weeks ago, Cartec glass foam cleaner. I was like, yeah, with the new windshield, it's bigger, so you get more bugs and more bugs, you gotta clean it more. So I bought this. And later on, I was like, hmm, glass foam, glass foam. It's used to clean glass, but this isn't glass. This is like ABS or some kind of hard plastic. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I also haven't tested this out, so. Let's see, there's like some bug poop. It foams up. Let's see what happens in a second. It's really doing its work right now. Look at that. Sure as hope, sure hope doesn't leave a stain on my new windshield. Hmm. So let's see if, uh, if the bug poop comes off fairly easily. Look at that. I'm not even using any pressure. And look at that, that's beautiful. Didn't even have to use any pressure whatsoever. So uh, that stuff works pretty good. Cartec, glass foam, neato. And as far as bigger shampoos goes, I've got like this little spray bottle. You can put some uh, shampoo in there, pump it up and then just spray it on some parts you can get with like another spray or something. But uh, I recently also bought this. This is from Uto Bright Direct Foam Lance, and this also has the uh, Kacher, uh, Kacher thingy. You can put it on that that crappy machine, and uh, you can create some foam with it. So this is very heavy, decent material, and I was like, hmm, now I need some new soap to get in that thing. I used to have this from Kacher itself, but uh, after using two in a year, when they drop, they break, and they're like plasticky, and this is more like. Yeah, this is uh, the hard stuff. So as far as far as soap goes, I was using this ceramic wash uh, that a friend of mine sells. It's ceramic guard, and I gotta say this thing smells really good and it cleans really good. But yeah, as you can tell, it is uh, this is all used. There we go. 
and this is also ceramic glaze so if you cleaned your car or motorcycle you can give it some glaze with the ceramic car glaze but not not using any glaze at this moment so as far as soap goes at this moment besides the drift the green bottle i have that's used for doing dishes i just ordered the gion gion or something o2 q2 m foam it smells like blueberry and the second one i bought is the kerger bring back the wow car shampoo now i'm not really sure between those two but this is like a 40 50 euro bottle and this is like a i think it was like 12 or 13 euro bottle so this time uh, this thing is like four or five times the price of that one uh, so i can't really wait to use that one and this smell also smells like blueberry or something so that's a plus and this is actually a pretty decent and good product it is from dr wack Dr. Wack S100 motorcycle quick cleaner. So this is actually a dry cleaner as they call it. That was scary. Clean without water, even remove insects, no scratching. Yeah, imagine a product that you spray on something that makes scratches, imagine that. So the quick cleaner is actually a pretty easy to use product. I just spray it on the bike, leave it there for a couple of seconds, wipe it down and I just sprayed it on something that I hit. Not sure what it is, but it is dirty as hell. And I think it kill I think I killed it right away. That thing must have splattered, splattered in a thousand pieces. Poor guy. Poor guy. And as you can tell, I didn't even have to rub it hard and it came off. So that stuff, also fairly good. And as for the big soap, most of the time you have to like get a little bit of a little cup and use a little bit of that, but I just chuck some in and see what we, we got. But I'm using this loofah, very handy. You can put like, stick your hand in there and just scrub your way around the bike. I'm gonna put this on the floor. And get it catch some sand and this is like the CarTech giant bucket ingenious car care products for professionals and it's like it has this big not sure if I can get it out yeah it has this big filter so if you drop sand in there god dang it if it drops some sand in there it will go all the way through into the bottom and when you clean out your loofah and you get some fresh water you can't reach the sand down there, pick it back up and uh, scratch your bike because sand makes scratches. Sand is no bueno. Bad. Sand's bad. Yeah, you bad man. You are very bad. Bad. So using that thing in the future, still using the old one, using that in the future with those kind of soap, foaming it all in and then rubbing it down with loofah into some fresh water. And that's how I clean the bike at the moment. So still have to use this uh, Q2M Gaion foam thingy uh, and that Karker soap. So not really sure which one is going to be the best out of those. And you guys know me, I'm always asking questions. So what soap are you guys using? Like, is it the Karker soap? Is it Maguire soap? Is it Gion soap? Is it, what's your main soap you use to like clean the bike? Just wondering, let me know in the comments what soap you use. It might be weird, but I'm not cleaning it today. Maybe you guys hope for some satisfying foam that gets sprayed onto the Super Duke GT, but it's not. Uh, I'm running out of time today. I made some other videos too. So I uh, hope you guys really liked this little cleaning informational video. Again, let me know in the comments what soap you guys are using, what brand, and uh, maybe I test it out. And let's see if it's better than the ones I have now. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, make sure to subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!